Mr. Speaker, uh, for the update for our hard lockdown, our forty eight are uh, hard lockdown for some pilot from the station, sir. Uh, some pilot, sir. Our deployment for the uh, control points, we have thirty one control points. We have five major thoroughfares and uh, these are the compositions of deployment from the MFP, MDTU, GTFPCR, SAF, and the Sapano Police Station. We have 192 barangays for Sapano Police Station with an estimated population of 376,346. Next. Uh, a recap period for uh, deployment, sir, we have 817 all in all. This comprises the uh, JTFNCR, the MPD, uh, and Sampano Asabon. Next. For the uh, arrested or apprehended violators from 8 o'clock p.m. since start to 8 o'clock a.m. this morning, we arrested a total of 19 individuals. 8 to 8, yes, sir. So, lahat yan, violators ng curfew? Yes, sir. Mayroon pang nakainom pa pa niyan, sir. Pinailan niyo na ng kaso? Yes, sir. We will do it. Lahat yan, pinailan niyo sa kaso. Next. From uh, 8 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. this day, meron tayong 63. 63. Next. And uh, so, yung running total natin, kanina, kagabi plus kanina kumaga, we, we, we have 82 all in all, sir. So, lahat sila, pailan na kaso? Yes, sir. Uh, Marami pa rin ang hindi. Although, talagang kung may pakpakita natin yung protegers, talagang ibang-iba kung merong hard lockdown. Talagang malinis, talagang... Wala talaga ng ibang tao talaga eh. We employed kasi yung drone kasi talagang real time yung kita namin kung saan yung mga tao. Next. We also rescued yung mga street dwellers para makikwala talaga tayong makita dapat sa kanya. We have... Pinala nyo sa Delpan o sa Kastan Andres? Doon mo na sir kami, although napapakay naman sila, yung isa pang covered court natin doon, we kinakain namin, pinainom ng tubig, through the help of the barangay sir. And I already coordinated with Major Juni by to sustain tayo ano. Junyo, ilipat sa Delpan, saka sa ano, sa San Andres. May bago tayong additional facilities sa Nandres, yung mga yes, street dwellers, sa yes, homeless. Sir. Tulungan natin ulit na lim sa San Andres. Yung yes, pangalawang sir. station natin. Yes, Next. What went well? Yung earlier announcement, yes, sir, nakapag-prepare yung mga tao. Uh, hindi, uh, for sure, hindi, hindi sila magugutom. Nakapag-prepare sila aside from the food packages that you have uh, given to them, yung cash, uh, cash aid sa kanila. And then yung earlier deployment namin for hard lockdown scheme, yung deployment from uh, JTF, NCR, and Special Action Force, and of course the collaboration and cooperation of the barangay officials of the 192 barangay, sir. Next. And yung pre-deployment namin, dito hinimay-hinimay namin kahapon sa UST. Kaya wala po ang karahasan na nangyari po di past. Ano, wala namang, walang uh, yes, issues na sa panghuhuli namin. Hmm. Uh, mga towards incident, wala namin. Yes, sir. And of course, yung usage ng nasa red covered court, meron tayo talagang command center we're in. It, uh, talagang nag-host na lahat, nag-direct uh, lahat ng effort ng ating mga uh, augmentations. And then, yung uh, custodial facility natin, yung uh, sa covered courts ng barangay 463, 420, 424, and 581. And then, yung usage of drone. What did not uh, quite work well, yung... Uh, Mara, despite the earlier announcement, marami pa rin tayong nahuli as indicated, 82 pa rin yung nahuli natin. Marami pa rin matitigas ang ulo. Compared to 376,000 individuals. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, mayroon pa rin minors uh, na nakukuha. Actually, nandyan yung tatlo, hindi pa namin sinama kasi wala yung DSW, hindi pa namin yung may, may bigay. Some alleys and interior streets are still open. Kaya nakakalusok sila. Nakaka, kaya mayroon itong mga 82 na ito kasi nakakalusok dun sa mga Ang dami kasi kalsada sa Sampalok, maraming nabiliit, mga eskinita, doon sila lumulusot. So, I already coordinated with the barangays to make a one entry, one exit scheme sa barangay nila. Lahat i-close na nila. Kahit tali man lang. And then, yung DSWD during the 
uh, doon sa mga street dwellers at sa minors natin yung operation. Kailangan namin sir. Next. What went wrong? Man naman so far, we are doing uh, good. We are going through your ano sir, yung uh, guidance nyo. Did you see the, ano, the massive testing a while ago? Yes sir. Two separate areas and two modes of testing. Yes, sir. Your rapid testing yes. Soft test. being done by the hospital in San Palo and uh, swab testing being done by uh, Dr. Fox Pangan and MHC. Yes, sir. 65 yata yung sa swab test, 263 yung mga sa rapid test. Uh, recommendation, sir. Uh, presence of this WD during the rescue and use of barrier ropes to close the streets. Uh, one sample ng uh, drone, uh, one best practice natin. Sample lang. Pakita natin, pag natin ng uh, drone. Ayan, kitang-kita natin kung saan yung mga tao na nagtatakbuhan, ano? Kung saan yung mga ano, ayan, no? Kaso yan, dati maraming tao yan. Kaso with the hard lockdown talagang nasa loob na, ilang lang talaga ang hindi. Makikita natin agad kung saan yung mga ano. So yan yung kagandakan ng loob na kaano natin natin. Kung saan yung mga tao. Kaso ito, da dati punong-puno ng tao yan. With the hard lockdown that, we, that the government imposes, the city government imposes, wala na. Kaya tingnan natin. Hmm. Okay. Huli siya eh. dalawa? Yes sir. Toward mo. So yan sir yung uh, isang sample sir ng best practice natin using the group. Mm -hmm. And also during that time may, may thermal tayo nung ginagamit. Mm -hmm. So makikita natin sir kung ano, malinis yung dating punong-puno ng mga tao with the hard lockdown that we have, malinis sir yung bakal. Mm -hmm. May ilan lang talaga. Um, pero it's a very good number. Yung guys, napanood po natin yung briefing kay Yorme Esco nung pong mga uh, people in charge po sa implementing po nung lockdown. So yung pong mga nahuli, 82, ang titigas pa rin po ng ulo. Sana naman po sumunod na po tayo. Yan po tuloy, hinuli po tuloy sila. At uh, malamang niya masasampahan pa sila ng kaso kasi po... Uh, napagsabihan na po na kailang ulit na po kaso ganyan pa rin. Hindi po tayo matatapos kung marami pa rin po matigas ang ulo. Buti nga po niyan kahit papano uh, 82. So at least yung pong uh, general population po sumunod naman po. Meron lang po talagang ilan na pasaway. Pero ganun pa man tuloy-tuloy pa rin po. So hanggang bukas po yan and uh, so far so good yung pong first day. So hopefully tomorrow po matuto na po. Wala na pong magsilabas. Wala na pong Uh, sumubok na hindi po sundin yung pong hard lockdown. So, yun guys, tuloy-tuloy lang po yung ating pagbabantay. See you po sa next video po natin. Uh, yung pong pangalawang part nito, I will post it in a while. Thank you very much. See you po sa next video. Pilipinas, God first. Bye-bye guys.